it's been a while, I know. I haven't been commenting much because um, I've just been adjusting to life on Crete. Um, yeah, the, I did a video on just uh, giving you a quick high life of like what Crete is like and and um, and living there and people are really friendly and they're very kind um, but the reason why I've taken a long time to video is because I um, have been going through some personal things um, what am I going through <clears throat> take three <laughs> um, the coffee is really good here I really like it um, they do it properly as well like I, I was watching the barista and yeah so, some of the things which are, are funny there is like you know explaining something like I went into um, the employment office that was one of the things I was doing and it's just like you need to go there you need to go there it's like you don't know me you I just landed you go where you, you know let me tell you my story and it's just like just a, a, a very quick and sharp like I'm supposed to understand everything and um, uh, it's you know the funny the reason why I'm laughing is because there is someone that I know in Zurich who talks like that who's just like assumes that you would understand what the hell he's talking about you know when he just says a word it's like and then if you don't get it he's like yeah you're stupid it's like so um and uh, so I got a bit shirty uh, with the what well, with the official well not shirty I, I kept my cool um, but I was like okay first explain to me why you want me to go there and I will happily go but you need to tell me the process and not just grunt at me because I don't understand grunts. I understand words. I understand explanation. So talk. And then he was like, okay. And then he calmed down and explained a little bit and stuff. And, and then it was like, okay. So yes. And I, and I was expecting the pillar to post kind of thing. So I was just like, yeah, okay, whatever. And then, um, but yeah, I was out of there um, in three hours, which is actually a really, really good because um, normally these things in uh, sort of these places can be, take up to like a whole day and you're just at the end, you're just ready to tear your hair out. So, so that went pretty smoothly. And uh, the other thing was, you know, other than this one person and anyways, later on, he, he was nice. Um, everyone was so... Um, they were really like um, like they were like welcome to Greece and um, you know okay you're looking for a job and here's the website and but overall I, I found the people quite uh, um, uh, friendly now don't get me wrong like the different if I were to contrast between um, the Italians and the Greek the Italians they naturally have this like uh, openness and they're they they're not uh, afraid to you know just they they have curiosity so you know they're so you feel like if you're even the most reserved person they have this way of just you know making you smile and laugh the greek are um uh, alternatively are reserved as in like uh, they're not like hey you know where are you from and stuff like that they'll just sort of watch you from a distance and maybe if they see you often enough but uh, generally they um, and it doesn't take long like um, they do um, um, they, they're fr they they are friendly but in a more reserved way it's not very lavish and um, um, but they smile and, and, and nice and whatever and um, the other thing is oh the other comparison so I went, I joined a gym to keep my sanity and um, 
the gym it is it's first of all they had like black tapes you know those thick black tapes they use uh, on tennis rackets to hold the cover together uh, basically holding the equipment together i mean the elliptic trainer was like uh, the, the foot thing was like this so i was like okay this is a hazard and um but the uh, the now uh, gym personalities in between um, Italy and Greece so what I noticed firstly about the gym here is that there's not a lot of mirrors so people are working out and you know they're not staring at themselves or whatever in Italy there 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 is mirrors as well but um, the, the 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 guys <laughs> they're staring into the mirror and they're like you know, <laughs> grunting is just really funny. And here they just calmly get on with it, you know, just maybe check the adjustments, whether they're doing it properly or whatever. And, um, but they, they're not grunting or, um, uh, or, or like, uh, like a peacock, you know? <laughs> I was just remembering one bit where this, this, this guy in the, in the gym in Italy, he had like the shortest shorts and it, it, the shorts, I think it was the kind from like the 1970s. So it's like right underneath the butt and, um, and it, just skinny from the bottom and then just really big at the top. And, um, and, uh, here it's just like normal tracksuit. So, um, you, you, so those, uh, sort of like a uh, little, uh, gym personality or culture is uh it was interesting to see um and what else what else what else what else um oh my god it's expensive here it was unbelievably expensive an espresso in italy is one euro here it's two euros for for like not even a millimeter line of espresso, you know, it's just like, what the, and everything, I mean, I got, there was this one shop where they sell these nice wooden bowls and things like that, and uh, so I got this bowl, and I was looking at it, and um, so I was like, yeah, how much is it, he was like, okay, let me show you, it's like this, you know, sort of this circular, small, and it was quite heavy, um, and he's like, yeah, it's 150, I'm like, that's expensive, Expensive. And he's like, I go to your countries all over Europe. You know, they have everyone thinks here that they have it's cheap. I don't know why, you know, and uh, it, it, there it's, you know, here it's half price. I'm like, no, 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 no. Here it's double the price because people are not buying something because of the price they're buying it is because whether they think the price is worthy of the pro product because the thing is that thing weighed like easily would take up if you were traveling and taking it back with you two three kilos added easy to your luggage and um so i was explaining the customer value uh, customer thing to him and he got he, he was just like yeah but anyways i was like yeah okay but uh he was He's having a bad day or something and just fed up of people probably coming into a shop and then putting things down. I mean, a spoon this big was like three euros. Come on. Come on. No. <laughs> no. I mean, unless it's crusted in diamond or it was the spoon and bowl that King Midas ate from. No. Three euros for this big spoon. No. Ochi. 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 <laughs> And um, today is a rainy day, first day of complete rain. Um, and uh, yeah, I don't like the rain. Um, but other than that, it's been like sunshine and rainbows um, here. Um, yeah, so I don't know. Oh my God, I've spoken for like a long time. Okay, so um, speak to you later. Ciao.